In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs, St. Andrew Kim Taegon, and his companions a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ezra. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, to fulfill the word of the Lord that was spoken through Jeremiah, the Lord roused the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, to issue a proclamation and to have it publicly displayed throughout his kingdom. Thus speaks Cyrus, king of Persia, The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth. He has ordered me to build him a temple in Jerusalem, in Judah. Whoever there is among you of all his people, may his God be with him. Let him go up to Jerusalem in Judah to build the temple of the Lord, the God of Israel. He is the God who is in Jerusalem. And let each survivor, wherever he lives, be helped by the people of that place with silver and gold, with goods and cattle, as well as voluntary offerings for the temple of God which is in Jerusalem. Then the heads of families of Judah and of Benjamin, the priests and the Levites, in fact all whose spirit had been roused by God, prepared to go and rebuild the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. And all their neighbours gave them every assistance with silver, gold, goods, cattle, quantities of costly gifts, and with voluntary offerings of every kind. The Word of the Lord. What marvels the Lord worked for us. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. What marvels the Lord worked for us. The heathens themselves said, what marvels the Lord worked for them, what marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we were glad. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. What marvels the Lord worked for us. They go out, they go out, full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back, full of song, carrying their sheaves. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Alleluia, Alleluia! By His own choice, the Father made us His children, by the message of the truth, so that we should be a sort of first fruits of all that He created. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. This proclamation taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, No one lights a lamp to cover it with a bowl or put it under a bed. No, he puts it on a lampstand so that the people may see the light when they come in. For nothing is hidden, but it will be made clear, nothing secret but it will be known and brought to light. So take care how you hear, for anyone who has will be given more. From anyone who has not, even what he thinks he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. 
So have you seen crash landing on you? I hear it's a very popular Korean drama. Korean dramas are big. In fact, all things Korean seem to be the rage, whether it be Korean barbecue or bimbimbap or fried chicken or K-pop. My nieces are fans of BTS. I must admit, I had no idea what BTS meant. I thought it was a transit or rail company. They were a gas, and I lost a lot of Uncle Brownie points when I thought it was a railway company. I'm trying to make up for it now. Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Andrew Kim Taegon. He's Korean. Big, big man. But what is unique about this man and about the Korean church is that it was founded entirely by lay people. Christianity came to Korea through Christian books brought across the border from China. How things have changed. In 1777, Christian literature obtained from the Jesuits in China led educated Koreans to form small home churches. And this community grew and spread. And it grew by the written word, not because there was any missionary. It was the Holy Spirit that allowed the people to learn and to read the word of God. And from there, they formed these home churches and they grew and spread. This fledgling church, so young, yet so strong in faith, these home communities withstood wave after wave of Christian persecution. In less than a century, they boast over 10,000 martyrs witnessing the truth of Jesus Christ and becoming 11 and the flowering of the church in Korea and in Asia. Andrew Kim Taegon and Paul Chong were native Koreans. Andrew was born to Korean nobility, and his parents converted when he was about 15. He traveled by land over 1,000 miles to study in a seminary in Macau and returned as a priest to serve his own people. He was a native Korean priest. He was eventually tortured and beheaded. What a life! What a heroic life! Paul Chong encouraged the Pope, at that time Pope Gregory XVI, if I'm not mistaken, um, to confirm the validity of the Christian community in Korea, these small home churches that were steadfast in their faith. And so three MEP priests were sent. You know, we are celebrating Catholic 200, and we date it from the letter that Laurent Imberg, one of the priests who was sent to Korea, writes about the faith in Singapore. He, unfortunately, with his other two confreres, were also executed for their faith in Korea. We marvel at the fact that the Korean church was strictly a lay church. God uses people in many ways, sometimes even without them knowing. That was how he used King Cyrus, who was probably a Zoroastrian, to eventually be his instrument so that the people could return after the exile to their own land and build the temple, build and restore the temple. He uses people, as in Andrew Kim Taegon, the lay leaders, Paul Chong, and various lay ministers and leaders of these home churches to build 
the church in Korea, in Asia. Sometimes we may not know the bigger picture, the drama that we are invited into in God bringing about His kingdom, allowing the faith to flourish, using us so that others may actually come to the faith. This was what happened in the church in Korea. It's unique because it was lay ministers who built up the church through the grace of God, through literature. It makes us wonder in our times with this pandemic, literature, online causes, are invitations for us to gather as groups in home churches, in small groups, and nourishing ourselves with the teachings, allowing the Holy Spirit to speak to us, then the church can grow, flourish, and flower. We marvel at the fact that the Korean church was strictly a lay church. How did the people survive without the Eucharist? It is no belittling of this and other sacraments to realize that there must first be a living faith before there can be truly beneficial celebrations of the sacraments. The sacraments increase the grace and faith. They make real what is already there, but only if it is there. Perhaps in this time, the example of St. Andrew Kim Taegon and companions can provide us with inspiration as we gather in our homes, grow in faith through online media or good spiritual causes. We are the lamps that are to be lit and put on a lampstand so that others may see and come in. This is the gospel call. This is us using what the Lord gives to build community and church. How wonderful to celebrate this feast day of St. Andrew Kim Taegon, Paul Chong, and companions. What an inspiration to the church in Asia, and to you and me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Nourish with the food of the valiant as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.